What's going on, everybody? It's BC9 for XYZ here, and welcome, everybody, to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Got this on sale, and I loved the last Sherlock Holmes game, so I thought I'd go ahead and play the new one. Um, and this one was created, I think, this year, actually. It was released this year. So, we've got uh, a lot of really cool mysteries to solve. We've got about five cases, like the last game. And um, if you haven't seen the last game, go check it out. It's a fun game. Um, but let's start the new one. Why is it telling me that Cortana can give me stuff? I, I don't understand that. Uh, yeah, we know. So this was created by the Unreal Engine, just like last time. So once this game loads... There we go. Options. Audio. Okay. Well, nothing except to do except start a new game. I mean, I'm excited to see where this goes um, and where the Sherlock Holmes story goes from here. So, um, let's do this, shall we? The Devil's Daughter. Pray tell is the first case. Should be fun. If it's anything like the last one, it should be a good game. I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh... That child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. So the interesting thing is that 
these characters have been completely revamped from the last game, and I already knew that the models are completely different, but anyway. Let's uh, take a look at his face for now. Um, build a character portrait by paying attention to the details and determining their meaning. Um, I would say recent weeping. Oh, interesting. So we can make our own deduction. Interesting. So we don't actually know if that was correct or not. Imprecise character portraits? Ugh. So I already screwed that up. So me thinks that this needs to be switched. Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie! Obviously. Your clothes are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. And that's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Only this time, he didn't come home. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange? In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I, I can look after myself. Oh, what were you thinking? You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. I ain't got no family. And I've got no other place to go. If our landlord finds out that father left me, he'll throw me out on the street. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We shall be discreet. If only my mother was still here. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. That's annoying. I wish that I... Alright, so I've been, I have to investigate his disappearance. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. So, it's weird to get to hear the last voice actor be different. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. I almost feel like Dr. Watson is the old Sherlock Holmes as a voice actor, but then again, my I don't know. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. So if 
First things first. We are going to make this guy look much, much, much more like a Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes would wear something like this. He wouldn't wear the other stuff. Right. He needs to at least look like a classic Sherlock Holmes anyway. This is what Sherlock, this is what Sherlock would wear. Okay. Moving on and forward. Chapel. So for the record, there's like a more um, open world kind of aspect to this game um, than there was before. But anyway, so uh, there's a little bit more to explore in terms of like that kind of expertise, but much to say here, so. It's clearly the same company as the last game, as you can see by the loading screens and stuff, and um, yeah, so. Let us continue. These streets are too narrow for the cab, I'll have to walk. Whitechapel High Street. So there's uh, also a first-person mode now in this game. There wasn't one before, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the first-person mode. North Street. North Street. Dorset Street remain, my bad. Dorset Street. I'm confused. That's fourteen. That's 13. Oh, it's 12 over here. Yeah. Weird. Room E. Must be upstairs. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. The old Tarbard pub, the best choice for beer.
the roof leaks all the time. Fuck. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Please, sir, find my father. Huh, so that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night. Mark with an exclamation are used for are to be used further in your investigation. So somehow that was important. Oh. Tom probably reads at night. Alright, so I don't need that right now, but I will later. At some point. That's what I'm getting from this. Uh, the Valley Company? My mother, sir. She died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. It happens. Thankfully, I don't have to personally worry about that, but... Sorry, I was just checking something. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing over here? More stuff. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Too dark, I can't see anything. That's what that was for. Just some old things. A leather satchel, what's in it? Hello, George. I know it's difficult for you to find a job and you need to feed your and clothe your son, so I've attached this letter, a pub leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. My mother saw... She... I'm sorry, Tom.
Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Yeah, so all this stuff is done. Except for one thing, unless of course we're talking about the fact that I just didn't click on it. The old Tabard ah. pub, North Street. I hope you'll find my father soon. What else is left? Glue. Probably taken from a wall. God, that took forever. <laughs> the old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. There you go. So that's completed. So now, let's head over to the old tavern pub. See what I mean? So there's a more open world aspect about this game. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. Um, in the sense that, like, I probably could have walked this location in realistically. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me... I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. And all the characters look different. Alright, so now we're at the pub. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. <laughs> Boss is no one to eavesdrop when on. When we're screwed, we multiply. something like this before. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. Child labour law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. I find this so weird. Why? I don't like this. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. 
So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. Dump the bosses off your backs. It's not him. Dump the bosses off your backs. Let's try this chair. It's gotta be him. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Jesus. Half hour, huh? Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. The longer the picket line, the shorter the strike! This is like the only thing to do worth just to... Dump the bosses off your backs! You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. And now he plays him. All right, well, let's do that when we come back, guys. Uh, this is cool. Changing up the mechanics a tiny bit, but not too much. We'll be right back, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sure.